Good morning, Athens Drive. My name is Will Corey. My name is James Crumpler. Welcome to ATV News. Attention juniors planning to take the SAT or ACT in June. The fourth quarter SAT-ACT prep course will start on April 15th after school in Mr. Romaley's room 2618. For more information, visit the Athens website or scan the QR codes on the blue flyers around the building. Space is limited and this will be the last class of the school year. We have tons of talent at the drive. The Arts Journal Blueprints is a place to express that. Submit your work now through April 15th. Unzip your creativity and submit poetry, fiction, nonfiction, visual art, and performances to blueprints at tinyurl.com slash AthensBlueprints24. Hey, Josh Eppleton Stewart III, a.k.a. Little Printy. What's the matter? <laughs> Lack of art got you down. Want to express yourself, but you don't know how? Submit to Athens Blueprints today. Blueprints, 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 submit to 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 blueprints, submit Right now it's mostly cloudy with temperatures at 61 degrees. And make sure y'all get out during lunch today because it'll be in the high 60s and it'll be your last chance to get outside before it begins to rain. We can expect a 40% chance of rain at 2 and a 50% chance of rain at 3. And tomorrow it's going to be about the same with mostly cloudy skies and a 30% chance of rain throughout the day with a high of 78 and a low of 64. I'm Braxton Whitaker, your ADN weatherman. Back to the studio. Thanks, Braxton. I want you to take the ASVAB. That's the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. It's a test that predicts future academic and occupational success in the military. For more information or to find out how to sign up, contact Ms. Carlton, our Career Development Coordinator, in the back of the Media Center. One of the most powerful softball teams in Wake County is the Athens Drive Jaguars. Braxton Whitaker and Brendan Cole went to see what makes the team so successful. The Athens Drive softball team is on fire. Going into this game against Green Level, the team was 4-0, their best start to the season in more than a decade. Getting to this point takes a lot of practice and focus. I really just want to make sure I lock in um, before every pitch. I make sure I know the play, where I'm going to throw the ball when it comes to me. So why are they doing so great this season? Coach Faircloth says it's their drive for success. She says that they have talent and want to do well. She adds that the team is dedicated to making the little things happen. In short, she said that the team is focused and they want to win. The drive to win isn't the only thing growing. Their relationship with each other is growing too. All the teammates are very supportive. They're not, we're not in to bash each other over our mistakes. We're there to lift each other up. This community is really great. Every girl is super nice. Um, we've all bonded this year very well. They love me. I mean, we like to do stuff like outside of school too. Like, uh, I think one of our favorite places to go is McDonald's. It's really fun. We do a lot of team bonding together. This season has been one of the team's most successful seasons in their 16 year history. There's a certain kind of mindset needed to be this successful. My mental state is like, where is it all going to go? What do I need to do? The biggest thing going through my head is just to know what I'm doing with the ball. Like, I know the most important thing that we say is like, always know where you're going with the play before the play starts. But some players are thinking about something else. Some random song, you know. It's like, I don't know why, but the quadratic formula. This game against Green Level was really close. The Jags were down four runs in the sixth inning. But the Jags came back in winning fashion, making seven runs by the end of the inning and two in the seventh. They ended up winning 15 to 14, continuing their win streak to 5 and 0. For ATV News, we're Braxton Whitaker and Brendan Cole. The softball team has a game tonight at Enlo. Come on out and cheer them on. Oh, Mr. Romaley, what's going on? Hey everyone, Romaley coming at you. I'm talking to anyone out there who is going to prom. If you're going to prom, I'm sure you got some questions about how's this process going to work, how you go get your tickets, will you do a permission form, where do you go, how do you do it. So let's talk about it. You're listening? Here we go. April 15th through the 19th. That's not this week, it's next week. April 15th to the 19th. We'll be in the gym lobby during both lunches and after school handling prom tickets. So what do you need to do and how do you come prepared? It's very simple. If you're going to prom, you have to have a permission form. 
You do. You're a student here at Athens. You need a permission form. Now, does your guest, if you're bringing a guest, have a permission form? If they're an Athens student, they need a permission form too, just like you. If they're not an Athens student, they need the non-Athens guest permission form. And that better have been turned into the front office by now for approval. You need to swing by the office and pick it up, see if it has been approved. And then you bring those permission forms to the gym lobby, April 15th through the 19th. That's the week right in front of prom. Bring the permission form along with your ID. You need to have permission form and ID. And if you don't have your driver's license, your permit, your school ID, which by the way, you can swing by the front office, go see Ms. Gattins or Ms. Trish or Ms. Guzman, and you can get your ID in the front office if you need it. But you have to have ID, permission form. You come find me in the gym lobby. I will then review that, make sure it's right, and then I'll give you your prom tickets. Whether you paid for them online or you're going to pay cash, you can do that right there on the spot too. But just remember, April 15th through the 19th, both lunches and after school, you need permission form and ID. And if you're bringing money, bring your money and pay for that then. If you paid online, I've got the list so I know who it is. You give me the permission form, I'll give you the tickets. Any questions, come see me or email me. Let's go to prom, y'all. It's coming soon. All right. Thank you, Mr. O'Malley. That's, That's it for today. today. See you next time on ATV News.